During the winter in China, three family clusters caught the coronavirus due to the AC picking up viral droplets. And now that the summer months are upon us, we're asking, can turning the AC put you at risk? ABC 10's Monica Coleman has more on how to stay healthy and cool. The quick answer is yes, it is theoretically possible, but it is unlikely. That's Dr. Dan Field. He says that you can get the coronavirus through air conditioned transmission if you live in an apartment where vents are shared. If a person is in their apartment and they're breathing and coughing out, sneezing out particles, it has to travel through the air to the ventilation, through the whole system, through whatever filters are in the apartment, and out through the, um, the inlet into somebody else's apartment and infect them. But it's unlikely due to the germ particles getting smaller and smaller as it travels through someone's vent to yours that you would get the coronavirus. You can imagine, since it's split up many times, that the amount of virus getting to the final person is going to be small. Dr. Phil says to protect yourself from even the smallest germs, you can wear a mask while in your home, install UV light fixtures, or purchase a HEPA filter. HEPA filter is very good. It gets 99.7% of particles, but only down to a certain size. And the coronavirus is much smaller. So the coronavirus could get through the HEPA filter, but the big particles that the coronavirus is riding on can't get through the filter. Lastly, he says, turn off the AC. If you can bear the heat, fresh air is the best way to keep your air clean of any coronavirus particles that may be floating around from your neighbors. Use your whole house fan, bringing outside air in, cleaning the whole house out, and uh, replacing all the internal air with good, clean outside air. Johns Hopkins University reported that today the total number of deaths attributed to the coronavirus worldwide went over 200,000. More than 53,000 of those have died here in the U.S. Here in California, we now have more than 41,000 confirmed cases of the virus. That's a nearly 5% jump from yesterday. Our death toll is over 1,600, also up 5%. And several urgent care clinics in the Sacramento area are now offering coronavirus antibody testing. But what goes into it? And does a positive result mean we're immune? ABC 10's Ananda Rochita is investigating tonight. The results can come back within minutes. It could tell us whether or not we've been infected with COVID-19. Right now for the antibody test, it's in high demand. So it's, I can tell you, it's, today we actually had to close a little early. We got a little overwhelmed. Lincoln Urgent Care uses a finger stick for testing. Results are in within 10 minutes. There's two different antibodies we're testing for. Um, right now, the, the test kits we have combine the two. So you get an IgM, which is something you get more early in the infection, and then you get IgG, which is what you get when a person um, has had the infection and then has now more of a immune response later on. Urgent Care Now in Arden Arcade and Fair Oaks also offer antibody testing, but the blood is drawn into a tube and you get the results in one to three days. Health expert Dr. Pyle Coley describes the antibody test as a snapshot of the past, but we have to be cautious of the results. I think it's really important to know that uh, just because you have the antibodies against the virus, that doesn't necessarily mean that you're immune to the virus. There are several antibody tests out there on the market. The FDA granted an emergency use authorization to get more people tested, but Dr. Coley says that may have compromised some of the quality. Normally, if a test is approved for use in the country, it goes through a rigorous process from the FDA. Data shows rapid tests may not be as accurate as blood drawn tests. The range of testing is variable, so there's some tests that are wrong about 8% of the time. And then I have seen there are other tests on the market out there that, that can be wrong 30 to 50% of the time. However, the tests, if accurate, can be beneficial. It can help someone else through plasma treatment and help scientists pinpoint what the virus is doing and predict its behavior. If you're planning on getting tested, make sure to wait seven to 10 days after your symptoms have resolved to make sure there are enough antibodies in the system to detect. Listen to this. A group of Sacramento restaurant owners have pioneered a new program to bring food and company to isolated seniors. The governor's adopting the program for the whole state. ABC 10's Andy Judson has that story.
Today, Governor Newsom announced a new initiative. First in the nation. Focused on two groups that have been the most impacted by the coronavirus pandemic, senior citizens and the restaurant industry. We estimate that some 1.2 million of our seniors in the state of California uh, live alone, socially isolated, uh, unable in many respects to cook their own meals. Using money from FEMA, cities and counties can pay local restaurants to prepare and deliver meals for vulnerable seniors. Uh, this partnership will allow for the ability uh, for restaurants to uh, start rehiring. It's something local restaurants are already excited about. Aoli owner Aziz Balarbi Salah told us his Sacramento restaurant is sure to participate. I will, I will bring, bring as many, many hands, hands on, on as, as I can, I can use. use. So, so um, I'm, I'm looking, looking forward, forward to getting a, a, a few more, more furlough people, people back, back to work. work. And, and I'll, 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 you know, you know I, 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 I want to provide, provide a wage to whoever, to whoever, whoever I can. can. There's an allotment of $66 per day for the three meals. Uh, we will provide an unlimited number of meals, uh, no cap, three meals a day, seven days a week. It's also part of an effort to provide company during a lonely time. It's not just about the meals, it's about a human connection. In Sacramento, a group of local restaurants led by Chef Patrick Mulvaney have already been serving up thousands of meals to the most vulnerable. Now they're excited about adding more.